In this tech talk, we're gonna answer the question, what is Microsoft Graph and why would you wanna use it as a developer? Well, to answer that question, let me ask you a question. What do you do every day? And I think for most of us and most of our users, it's this, we work with email, we chat in teams, we're working with files, we have to-dos, we have tasks, we work on different devices, we go to meetings and the list goes on and on and on. During all that, you might be taking notes in OneNote, for example. How often have you tried to go and find something and you're digging through email or you're digging through office.com or some other area? Well, from an end user standpoint, what if we could actually bring that type of data and intelligence to them? So when they log into an app and they work with customers, they can get right to that data. So before I walk through a scenario with you, let's define what Microsoft Graph is then. So Microsoft Graph provides a secure and unified API that can be used to access Microsoft 365 data and other cloud data and intelligence. Now, why is this important? Because we have all that data we just talked about out there. What if we could tap into that and bring it where the users work every day? It could be very good for contextual information and efficiency, productivity, those types of things. So let me walk you through a scenario. Let's say that you're building a sales app and a salesperson is assigned to a customer. And as they're working with that customer, they need access to a hierarchy of people within the company that can help out on sales calls. Uh, they have files as they work with the customer. They obviously are gonna have emails and chats, and they're probably even gonna have a lot of meetings, notes, things of that nature. Well, normally to tap into that type of data, you'd have to learn Outlook APIs, and you'd have to learn this API and that API, and you know the list goes kind of on and on there. But what if instead we could just use Microsoft Graph, and it could tie all this information together for us? That's what it can do. Now, the best way to get started with Graph is to use the Graph Explorer. And the Graph Explorer is great because right in the browser, you can get started. It doesn't require any knowledge of programming. Really, you just have to click on a couple things. So let me show you an example. So if we jump on over to developer.microsoft.com slash graph, Graph Explorer, you'll see that we have this UI that we can use. And out of the box, you can just use it anonymously. So for example, if I wanted to get the profile for someone, I could click on this, go to the response preview, and Megan Bowen shows up. Megan's very famous um, because she's the anonymous one here. I could also log in with like a developer tenant if I wanted, and you can even create one up here if you wanna join that, you can get a free one to play with. Now what's great about this is not only can I get information about Megan, I can get Megan's official photo, I can get mail if I was logged in as Megan, we'll pretend I am. We can get uh, my OneDrive files. I can even filter those. This would allow me to filter based on a range of things. I could uh, come down and say, well, I'd, I'd like to base it on an email, who created it. Or maybe I want the name of the file right here. Those types of things can then be filtered down. Now what's great about this is once you learn the actual REST API to call, you can click right here on code snippets and let's just go back to profile because it's pretty simple. And we can go to JavaScript here and notice that there's just a little bit of code to call this and this will actually help you out a ton. Now this gives you kind of a simple way to get started. You can come up to getting started and learn in your desired language, whether it's front end, back end, uh, whatever it may be. So if I jump on over, this is a really simple app in JavaScript that will first authenticate the user using Microsoft Identity, and then what'll happen is it'll use Graph. Now you'll notice this Microsoft Graph client we're using, and then we're gonna use that Graph client to make the me profile call. I'm gonna grab the ID and the display name and return those, or I'm gonna get the user's photo. You can see it's me photo dollar value. That would get their photo for the logged in user. Now there's a lot more to this, and I wanna keep this quick. Uh, but that is how you can get started. And so to sum it up, the big reason you as a developer should learn Microsoft Graph is because it's gonna give you that ability to tie all this data and intelligence that's already in your org into the app where your users work every day. And that way they're gonna be more productive and more effective.